For number eight, the situation is that a store has a huge shipment of pins coming in, and they're just going to pick 20 of them and see how many of the 20 are defective or not working. And if too many of the 20 are not working, they'll figure that the whole truckload is probably bad if their little sample was had too many bad ones. So, if it says right here that they're going to accept the shipment, accept the whole truckload if there's no more than two defective pins in their sample of 20. So if they found zero defective pins, one defective pin, or two defective pins, they will accept the, sh the truckload of all the pins, as long as there's two or less. So for part A, find the probability that this shipment is accepted if 5% of the total shipment is defective. So this is a binomial situation. A pin is either defective or it's not defective. There's two, two options. You can use Excel to do this. Now, I changed the numbers here a little bit so you could still do it on your own. I said that there's going to be 10% defective for my example here. But again, remember, we're going to accept it as long as there's 0, 1, or 2 defective pins. Uh, as long as there's not more than two defective, we'll accept the shipment. So you have to define success. I think the easiest way is to define success as getting a defective pin. And so what we want to find out is what's the chances that we have two or less defective pins. And that's what this formula is doing. When you put true here, it accumulates from whatever number you enter all the way down to zero. So if we would put a false here, it would have been the probability of exactly two defective pins. Exactly two. But when you put true, it does the probability of two, or one, or zero. So two all the way down. And that's exactly what we want. And so out of the 20, what's the probability of two or less if 10% of them are defective? And then I put an equal sign in front of it, and it came out to about 67%. So for your problem, make sure you use the correct percentage. It's 5% for part A. Now pay attention on part B. Find the probability the shipment is not accepted. So you can go about it just like you did in part A. Make sure you use the correct percentage. But you can figure out the chances that it is accepted just like in part A. But then after you figure out the chances that it is except to do one minus your answer and that will give you the chances that it is not accepted all right because it, if for example in part a my example if it's accepted this percentage of the time to one one minus a one you need an equal sign there that means it's not accepted about 32 percent so is accepted, and then this one was not accepted. So for part B, that's how you do that one.